Welcome once again to our video daily devotion, Good Shepherd Lutheran Church in Lincoln, Nebraska. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Pastor Poppy. Our devotion for today is based on the Old Testament reading for the 24th Sunday after Trinity, the Old Testament book of Isaiah, chapter 51. We read, Awake! Awake! Put on strength, O arm of the Lord! Awake, as in days of old, the generations of long ago. Was it not you who cut Rahab in pieces and pierced the dragon? Was it not you who dried up the sea, the waters of the great deep, who made the depths of the sea a way for the redeemed to pass over? And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Zion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain gladness and joy and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. I, I am he who comforts you. Who are you that you are afraid of man who dies, of the son of man who is made like grass, and have forgotten the Lord your maker, who stretched out the heavens and laid the foundations of the earth, and you fear continually all the day because of the wrath of the oppressor when he sets himself to destroy? And where is the wrath of the oppressor? He who is bowed down shall speedily be released. He shall not die and go down to the pit, neither shall his bread be lacking. I am the Lord your God, who stirs up the seas so that its waves roar. The Lord of hosts is his name, and I have put my words in your mouth and covered you in the shadow of my hand, establishing the heavens and laying the foundations of the earth, and saying to Zion, You are my people. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have many different word pictures that the prophet Isaiah, under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, lays before us. It starts out, interestingly enough, awake, awake. There are many times in Scripture where God reminds the sinner, you and me, to wake up because the end of the world is coming. Wake up because today is the day of our salvation. But in our reading for today, it's just the opposite. We are calling upon God to wake up. Wake up from his slumber. Wake up and do your God thing. Wake up and do your mighty action. You've done it before. You've exerted your strong and powerful mighty right hand against your enemies. You've done it before. You parted the Red Seas with just the breath of your nostril. You've done it before. You created the heavens and the earth. Power upon power upon power is who you are, God. The enemies are surrounding me. I need you. I need you to spring into action and take care of my enemies. Defeat them. Defeat them for me. Because I'm weak. And I'm afraid. Sometimes... As Isaiah teaches us, we're even more afraid of our enemies, our earthly enemies, than we are afraid of God. We should fear, love, and trust in God above all things, above all people, places, ideas, things. My friends, when we begin to fear our enemies, the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh more than we fear, love, and trust in God, we are in a very, very difficult position. Our faith is weak, maybe even at the point of being snuffed out. And so we pray God, awake, awake, do your God thing, 
Speak to me in a powerful, mighty way. Exert your powerful, mighty hand against my enemies. Fill me with your spirit. Fill me with your word. Your word to give me comfort and peace and strength. And most of all, courage. Courage to face any and every enemy that the devil, the world, and our flesh can throw at us. And my friends, know that that's exactly what God has done. It may not seem like it to us. We see Jesus seemingly weak and frail, defeated by the enemies as he hung naked, bleeding and dying on Calvary's cross. But this is the mighty hand of God poured out on Jesus who is carrying our sin. Poured out on Jesus all wrath for all sin, for all people, for all time. God displaying his power and might, doing his God thing when he raised him from the dead three days later, never to die again. Jesus, risen and ascended on high, powerfully working in this world through word and sacrament. And he leaves us with this final word of comfort. You are my people. You hear that? You, God says, by grace through faith on account of the person and work of Jesus Christ, are my people. May that be your strength. May that be your peace. And may that be your confidence today, tomorrow, and forever. Thanks be to God. Amen.